All right guys, I have made it to the golf course, back for another tournament. I'm super pumped today. Just a couple things before getting into this. One, I'm gonna be playing very aggressive. I'm gonna be, two, I just really wanna trust my process. And three, I think that my, my mental game is just as important as my physical game. So today I'm really gonna focus on making sure that I'm sticking with the process, not getting, not getting rushed, not getting ahead of myself when I do hit some bad shots, because those are gonna happen. It's golf. But thanks for tuning in. This is my sweet spot. My passion is, is competitive golf. So I'm excited you're here. I'm thankful that you're here and I'm thankful for the support. So I'm gonna get some warm up in. I got about 45 minutes until my tee time. Hit some putts, hit some, hit some golf balls, and then uh, we're gonna get right into this. Ah. Ooh, got through. All right guys, we are off to the races that was a little bit healy but i i was really kind of just work trying to work a little cut off of that group of trees on the other side maybe push it a couple yards but i think it's going to work out really nicely um there's kind of an interesting tee shot there was there's ob left and there's ob right if you get into the first fairway which is something you you got to be be careful of so um hopefully this is mine in the fairway up here all right guys i got 189 pretty dead so it's probably gonna play pretty close to the number I'm gonna hit just a just a smooth driving range seven iron started about 15 yards right of the pin and uh, draw it back to that left left side ah. I think that's in the bunker just didn't draw for me it's great yardage though all right kind of got a funky little lie here but just try to get it right to the front edge there why not just chip it in, huh? Settle. Probably gonna be stuck in the trees over there, but we're going low. 24. Nay. Yeah, I think that was a way better play than trying to go over. Putting, that's important. Thank you. Thanks. All right, it's a little, little five four start, even par. I'm just giving it a rip here. I think it's just a little right. I'll get left. <laughs> That might be in the water. All right, well, I got lucky it stayed in, but I got a 48 yard out of the, it's out of the hazard. This could get me all kinds of muddy here. <laughs> that is, uh, that is, you gotta do what you gotta do. I had no clue how it was going to come out or if it even was going to come out straight, and it did. Got a decent look at birdie, too. Guys, before we go on to today's video, I'm excited to announce that it's sponsored by Tommy John. I've been wearing the Tommy John 360 Sport for about two months now, and I absolutely love it. One of the big reasons that I love the 360 Sport is that it's super comfortable, it's super breathable, and it has this really, really big, thick waistband that really just stays in place. 
and it's not sliding down or coming up, giving you a wedgie or any, anything else. It's just super comfortable. It feels like I'm wearing absolutely nothing, which is really nice. And whether I'm playing golf or pickleball or any other sport, I don't have to worry about anything moving around or riding up on me. And it's, it's one of the biggest reasons that I love the 360 Sport. So right now, click the link in the description, go to tommyjohn.com, check out the 360 Sport, and use the code MICA25 to get 25% off. Thanks for tuning in, let's get right back to today's video. The only reason I hit five wood there is because I actually had to get a new driver and this is not my new driver. I'm having a little bit of a hard time with it because it fits, it feels a little weird, but it's gonna come back out of the bag. I just gotta, I gotta figure out what's going on. So I got 148, it's just a nice smooth pitching wedge here. Just going right at it because it's right, in, it's right in the dead center of those bunkers. Probably playing one, I'm gonna say 146. So it's just a, just a perfect pitching wedge. Gosh darn, that looked pretty good in the air. And it bounced a little bit short, so has potential to be real close. It was a great shot. Just how we drew it up. Go! Left it a couple feet short. Thanks. Needed that. Those are the kind that give you maybe confidence. A little six footer for par. Gotcha. Thanks. Get some wheels. God, I freaking trust it. I just want to be in the fairway. It should be in the fairway, but. It's unfortunate that what happened to my driver happened yesterday because I was hit, I'm hitting it so good, but that new one is just not the same. The weighting is not right, but it played left clean and placed in the fairway, so I need to take advantage of that. All right, 140 yards. I'm going to play it about 150 straight into the wind. Just a nice full pitching wedge here. Thanks. All right, just heaving and humming here. That's uh, the best look I've had at birdie today, so straight up the hill. Let's see if I can cash that one in and get something moving here. Thanks. <clears throat> Feels good to finally get one. Gosh, I hate not having my driver. All right, 148. I'm gonna hit an eight iron. Try to fade one in there. I'm gonna play it at that tree just left of it. Yeah. 
Thanks. Went exactly where I was looking, just didn't fade. Just a touch more than 185, but if it's pin high, it's going to be good. Get some wheel juice. That's ridiculous. It's not committed to that putt whatsoever. Solid three there to, to round out on number eight. We are on to number nine, par five. Um, it's gettable, so I'm gonna I'm gonna just kind of stay. I, I'm, I'm in a really good rhythm right now. I feel really good, so I'm just gonna kind of keep that pace and uh, stay patient and let them come to me. But um, on to number nine. I'm gonna hit. I'm gonna hit driver. I'm just gonna send it. Thanks. Two hundred and four yards, probably playing about two twenty. I got five iron, just gonna try to loop one off of that bunker over there. Should be perfect. I chunked the piss out of that. Give me a break. Spit it out. Hit three inches behind the ball there. Fifty-three yards. Hit that stupid tree. That's not a tree that I was expecting to be in play. That really wasn't. It is what it is. Let's go on. Go on and see if I can chip that in. Make birdie if not. Get my par and move on. Thanks. Turn it one under. Let's go. Alright, 160. I got nine iron. This is just a perfect nine iron. Thanks. Thanks. for me 77 yards ball is sitting down in a track so I'm actually gonna play this like a like a long bunker shot with a P wedge oh, stay short of the bunker that's fine you can't do much more than that but I got a greenside bunker shot I'm working with Oh gosh. Spin. Oh, dig. That's okay though, I'll get it back. We were told to speed up a little bit and I just kind of sped up in my mind a little bit and got quick, but even par, here we go. All right, two iron for me, gonna stay short of that water at 300. Oh, 
we are back in action here. Um, little hiccup there, but it's nothing I can't handle. One, it's 200 to the pin. I'm gonna play it about 195. I got seven iron. I'm gonna try to kind of fade one because of this lie. Just short. Really had to gouge that one out of there though. It was kind of sitting down, but it's a great place to, to be chipping from. more than I was anticipating. That's just silly. All right, another pour. It's okay. A lot of, a lot of golf left. Nuclear, 91 yards, plays like, probably, I'm going to play at 90. Thanks. I think it's just a little bit short, but I have a birdie putt. And it's time to get back on that train, baby. Lots of positive things happen here today. Big. Oh yeah. Just throw it up. Hopefully it's in the fairway. 70 yards for me. I'm gonna try to skip one back there. Yeah, it's a little downwind off the right, so I want to think the number probably 70, but I want to land it at like 65 because it's gonna take a big skip. And then hopefully I can cozy one in there. Big hop. That was, oh, that makes me want to throw up. Gosh, I'm come waddling up here like that. But it's par. We got four holes left, but you know, these are moments where it's a huge learning curve of like, how do I not get outside my skis here, get out front of myself? I just gotta stay patient, and that's exactly what I'm gonna do. So. yards. I'm going to carry it that and let it kind of trickle up. Land it just short of the pin. Oh. That released so much. I thought that was perfect. Came off line immediately. 
first bogey of the day. Oh well, that was just a, I mean, I chunked my, chunked my shot fairly away, so it is what it is. It's a little bit disheartening to come on that hole, but three holes left to make something happen here. All right, hole 16. I got two iron again, man. It really is unfortunate that I didn't have my driver today, but 270 gives me 106 in, so should be a pretty good number here. It's going to hit a little draw. Perfectly in the fairway, 125, but straight into the wind uphill. I'm going to play this about 137. Um, so I got a nice little smooth pitching wedge. Just try to keep it just just right of the pin and draw it in there. Thanks. That was really good. I think it's just a little bit long, but need to make a couple coming in here. It's really disheartening that I didn't have my driver today. It was definitely as good as I was hitting it. I think it would have been a huge advantage, but you gotta play what I what I showed up to the course with. And I've hit a lot of great tee shots and I've hit a lot of great putts. I've just had a couple un unfortunate uh, errors that led to, you know, me being one over, but really happy with what I'm, what I'm seeing here today. Two to go. 190. Playing at 190. Asking for a little too much there. 22 yards. Sit. Well guys, I, uh, I hit a ball out of bounds there, so I hit three off the tee. It is a little bit unfortunate, but that's a pretty frustrating way to, to, to finish it out. But it's okay. There's a lot of positives today. Thanks for tuning in. Hope you guys enjoyed. I'm going to be playing a lot more tournaments, so yep, today didn't go like I wanted it to, but it's golf. I'm playing like 250, so I got a, I got a two iron here. All right, duck hooks for the finishing round. Let's do that. Oh man, 10 cup finish here. Good playing with you, man. Yeah, nice to meet you. Nice good luck. You, yeah, good luck. Well, sure, we'll see you again. Yeah, good playing, man. Well, guys, that is just absolutely silly. Um, felt like I just got kicked in the nuts, but 
it is what it is. Little double bogey finish. I believe that I shot four over par. So he was looking good for 12 holes, and then I just kind of got a little ahead of myself when he said this. We got put on the clock pretty much, and yeah, just kind of went downhill, kind of let it go. But it is what it is. Um, very, it's kind of disheartening because I was playing pretty good, but I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go away positive. Um, could obviously be really pissed off and it's a little frustrating but it's just golf and I'm learning a lot of a lot of a lot of good things happening so thanks for tuning in hope you guys enjoyed and uh, we'll let you know when the next one is